Welcome to a watch basics video. This is where we will look at simple features on a watch for those who don't know how to use it. Today we will look at how to use a mechanical chronograph. A mechanical chronograph is nothing but an old fashioned stopwatch before digital stopwatches became a thing. So there's really, there's always two buttons on a mechanical chronograph. You have the top button and the bottom button and then you have a crown. To start the stopwatch, you press the top button. So let's get it started. And as you can see, there's a second hand that tells you how many seconds. And then the top subdial, in this particular case, breaks it down to 1 20th of a second. Depending upon the type of watch you have, it may be breaking it down to 1 5th of a second, 1 10th, 1 20th, or so on and so forth. Now, if you want to stop the stopwatch, you just press the top button again. So we stopped the stopwatch at about 23 seconds and then uh, say something like let me count 10 12 so about 13 by 20th of a second so and if you want to reset the stopwatch at this stage supposing we're done with our measurement we just hit the bottom button and it will all reset now supposing you wanted to do two readings so let's start the stopwatch again and let's say our first we're measuring the speed of two runners. So say the first runner's lap is being measured at 10, say 15 seconds. So we press the bottom button. So we're going to hit the bottom button at 15. Okay. So that's the first runner. Now, supposing we wait for a little while and we know how much the second runner is going to be crossing the lap in. And let's hit the top button for the second runner. So, and now that's a split lap. So now you've got two readings. But you have to get the second reading. So after you've noted down say 15 seconds for the top runner, you just hit the the bottom button again and it will go to say in our case 27 seconds. So that's the speed of the second runner. So that managed to give you two readings. And then if you want to reset, you can either press the bottom button or if you just want to continue, you hit the top button. So let's stop it again and we do a full reset. Now there is another thing you can do. Let's start this thing again. Supposing you wanted to take the reading at a certain stage. Let's stop it. And you know it takes us a little time. Say we write down that this was about 11 seconds. Now I want to go back. This is typically used with laps. And I want to go back to the time that I've been running at. So then I just hit the top button again. And it will either continue. Or I can do one thing is I can. Let's keep it running. Let's hit the bottom button. So that stops it. You imagine you wrote the right the time down. And then hit the bottom button again. And you will realize it will catch up to whatever is the present time. So our minute, our reading was at say 18 seconds and let's hit the bottom button and you'd realize it'll jump to 35 seconds, 36. So that's a great way to measure laps. Let's hit stop and we will again hit reset. To hit stop, you hit the top button and to get reset, you hit the bottom button. Anyway, so that is a, a basic introduction to how a stopwatch works on any mechanical chronograph. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what other videos you'd like me to do. This was on a subscriber request so thank you very much for the idea and let me know what video I should do next.